hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by the title we're gonna be doing a little story time today because something crazy happened to me with one of my clients so if you don't know it's kind of obvious maybe not if you don't know i make wigs okay my website is gonna be up in the fall so i've been taking orders through instagram so i have my number on instagram you can text me a place order or you can dm me so i had um this i guess let's say woman and she dm'd me and she was like oh you know i love your work and you know i feel like all good inside it makes me feel good when people tell me they love my work because i really do like take my time you know i really you know it's this is what i want to do so it just makes me feel good when people tell me they love my work so that was that was good off the bat i was like oh okay she likes my work because she's coming to get a wig it's nice so she's like um i want a lace front but i want like a long bob with a bang so i was like oh okay you know i could do that that's that's easy so she started sending me pictures um she sent me a picture of rihanna but rihanna's picture that she had was like sh a short like bob with a bang and then she sent me another picture of a longer one so I was like okay yeah i could do that that's no problem so i gave her the price and then i saw her like um me i accept deposits like so it gives people time because most of the wigs take me about a week or two to finish maybe two weeks so that way you get paid bi-weekly put the deposit down which is half and then the next half the remaining balance once i finish the wig you get paid again it's easier for you to pay so that's how i do it so i'm like all right this is the deposit um so she was like okay um you know i told her like you have to i need your measurements and she was like all right i'm gonna get that to you and i'm gonna send you the deposit in like a day or two so a day or two passes and she didn't send it so i assume like maybe she changed her mind or she just wanted to wait so eventually she writes me a couple days after that after when she said she was gonna send it to me and she's like oh sorry traveling been busy blah blah i'm like all right cool so before she sends me the deposit she sends me a whole bunch of pictures of the of the bangs like bangs that she does not absolutely like or want and then the bangs that she does want so i'm like okay like it was a lot of pictures so i'm like all right that was my um first mistake i noticed I was like like rethinking it over in my head I'm like you know what I should have just told her like listen because sending all those pictures could get confusing next time if somebody does that I'm just gonna be like listen narrow it down one picture of the bang one picture of the length and so it's no confusion you know but I was just all right she's sending me all these pictures I'm seeing what she, I know exactly what she don't want so that's a good thing so she's just giving me different ideas and spills and stuff like that so i'm like okay yeah cool i got it so the length of the bob that in the pictures that i saw that she showed me was about like 14 inches like 12 14 inch bob with a front to nice bang like the bangs was down but they were like like i don't know how to explain it but i'm sure you guys so i was like yeah i could do that i sent her pictures um, even though it was on my Instagram of bang wigs that I've done before I've done like like four four or five and she was like yeah I like those bangs I just wanted a little longer I was like cool so she sent us a deposit and for me I so basically whoever sends me the deposit first that's I go in order so I do those wigs I do the wigs in order de depending upon who sends me the deposit first so she had three people ahead of her so i had three four weeks to do before i got to her wig okay so she kept writing me like oh did you start the bang yet did you start the bang yet while i'm in the process of finishing up the other orders and me i don't like to take people's money like so you send me a deposit and before you send me the deposit i'm like writing you back you know consistently and then once you send me your money the the replies you know you get a reply every day or every five or six hours like even though i'm a busy person whether it's like working or spending time with my family or just my free time 
I still, because this happened to me, I bought stuff from somebody, they was, listen, before I gave them that money, they was writing me back real quick with the quickness, and then once I gave them my money, I couldn't get a response out of them, and I ain't like feeling like that, so I don't want people who shopping with me to feel like that, so I respond back to her, like, listen, I get a couple texts back to back to back while I'm making the wig, I'll stop real quick and see, like, you know, what's going on, and it was her. She just kept writing me and sending pictures like, oh, I want it like this, but not like this, but not like this, like this. I'm like, okay, once I get to the wig, once I get to the bang, right, I am going to, so this was the plan. I'm going to write you, like, I'm going to part out the bang and then cut it a little bit and then send you a picture. You want me to add more? I'm going to do it again. Put a little more bang, some little more hair, cut it again, okay, and then send it to you. So that's what I ended up doing. Okay, so I ended up taking it slow because she was telling me how she's OCD and the last thing that I wanted, okay, was to be out of money because if I fuck up her bang, I got to purchase a new frontal, you know, from my vendor and then do the shit over and I ain't want to do that. So that's why I took it slow. She's OCD. She wants things a particular way. I understand. I'm here to, to give you that. So... Finally, I finished the bang and she confirms it because that's what I do with my clients. Listen, I send them a pictures. I send them pictures and videos of the whole unit. So listen, nobody could say when they got it like, oh, no, this is not what I wanted. No. So I do that to cover myself and to make sure they're happy because I don't want to ship some shit out and then they get it and then it's a problem and I don't want to fucking charge back either. So... She confirms, like, oh, it's good, I like it. Then she starts talking about the freaking sides of, like, so it's a whole frontal, right? And then she's talking about, like, this is the bang right here, this whole forehead piece I got. <laughs> this is the bang, and then this is the sides, like, you know? So she's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to insert the picture of the finished wig so y'all can see what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to insert the picture of what she was trying to, like, explain to me. So she was saying that, oh, it looks thin, like, right here. Like, she made, she took a, a screenshot of a picture that she found from the internet of a girl with a, a freaking bang. And she was like, right here, it looks thin. So I'm like, well, if you wanted it to be more fuller, like, from the sides, then you should have got a closure. You should have requested a closure wig. You specifically asked me for a frontal wig, not a freaking not a freaking um closure so everybody knows if you wear wigs you know a frontal the hair that's on the frontal that's it that's the hair like i i do ventilation which is adding individual hairs into the frontal closure like into the lace but that's what she basically wanted me to do and i'm like that's just gonna be expensive and that's gonna take me a while to do and even if i do jam pack and add extra hair in there i don't know if it's gonna be full to how you want it so that was the first problem that we had. So I'm going to insert the picture so you guys kind of understand just in case if you don't. It don't make sense probably. So I'm like, well, you should have got a closure because with a closure, the tracks come around. So that could add more fullness in the front than a, just a frontal with all the individual, like, but you requested it. So come to find out, this is the second issue. Well, this is my fault because I should have asked so this is the second thing that I should have did better on this was her first wig and I didn't know that because usually when people like they'll come to me like hey like I want a wig but this is like this would be my first time wearing a wig what do you suggest a closure frontal like what do you suggest for me she just came automatically was like she want a frontal so I assumed which you shouldn't do but I did anyway I assumed that okay like she already like she's used to wearing wigs because she asked for frontal so that was where i fucked up so that was my fault i should have made sure so and from now on i know to do that even if they i'm be like this is your first time and i'm gonna explain and give them the breakdown and everything so i'm like well i can't fix it at first i was gonna charge her like tell her like you could pay this but i'm like you know what let me not even do that because she can pay for it and then what if it's still not you know to her satisfaction so i was telling her i was like listen you should got a closure and like i mean i could sew tracks across the front like do two tracks coming across the front to make that part fuller for you like right here fuller for you but girl like that defeats the purpose of having the frontal 
So then, second, no, third issue, then she starts talking about the length. So when I insert the picture of the length that she did ask for, and then towards the end, she asked for something longer, I'm going to add that in. She was like, oh, well, I wanted this length. And I'm like, no, you said a long bob. That's not a long bob. And the picture that you sent me that you wanted, like, the length, I got that down to a T. So now you're changing your mind and saying that you want – what she sent me was basically 18 inches. I'm like, no, that's not a long bob. That's an 18-inch wig with a fucking bang that you wanted. That's what you asking for. And you telling me that after I already created the wig. So I told her, like, listen, I could fix it and make it 18 inches, but you're going to have to pay. Simple. I made a 14-inch um, long bob for you, wig. You, 14 to 12, you want fucking 18 inches now? And you're going to send me that after the wig is already done? Bang already cut? Everything already, like, Really? So I said, you don't have to pay extra 377 I don't remember, 380 And she was like, oh, wow, well, forget it. I'll just, I have hair on my house. I'll just add it in. Which, it was going to look crazy. It was no space to add it in. But I was just like, all right, like, if you don't want to pay me, like, I'm not going to do it for free. Like, that's not how this works. So you don't want to pay, then I don't know what to tell you. So I'm like, okay, now, just, you know, it's time. Send me the remaining balance because I want to ship all the wigs out tomorrow. She was like, okay, I'm driving. I'll give it to you in two hours. It's like, all right. Then two hours goes, nothing. Then now it's five hours, nothing. Then I ended up taking a nap, woke up. And you know how on Instagram you could see if somebody's been active. She was active. So I was like, hello. Like, I wrote her again. Because I wanted to ship all the wigs out at once. I don't want to keep going back to the post office. So she's like, oh, um, I'm, hey, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to find another stylist that could tweak the wig for me. I'm like, okay, but the balance is due. Like, what the fuck do that have to do with me? What does that have to do with me? That I did what you asked me to do. Then you change your mind at the last minute. And you expect me to fix it and add longer hair, which you didn't ask for in the beginning. You wait till I finish the wig damn near to do that. And then you don't want to pay me for it. I'm glad to do it for you, but you have to pay me. Like, this is just, like, this is business. So, like, you have to pay me. Like, I don't, <laughs> you're going to find somebody else to fix it. That's dumb. When you could, like, it's dumb. So, I'm like, all right, the balance is due. I'm waiting. I'll wait till the next day. And I'm like, listen, I've been accommodating to you. This girl was annoying the shit out of me. Writing me every five minutes asking me if I did the bang and trying to rush me. But that's what happens. I, that's, that's, how, that's how the game goes. So you roll with the punches. But she been getting to know my last nerves and I've been so, of course, you gotta keep it professional. I've kept it very professional, but I don't like people playing with my money. Like, I did my job. I put my time into this. I took my time. I've been very, like patient and and even with all the pictures that you sent me i've been understanding and i've been willing to to fix whatever you wanted of course you gotta pay and now when it when the wig is done you don't want to give me my money so she's like oh well you know i'm gonna think about it i'm like what you're gonna think about paying me my money she was like, I don't like the wig, or I wanted it longer, and, and then the fullness right there, and I don't know, mind you, when y'all see the wig, I'm going to show y'all, the wig is full, okay? If you wanted it more full and thicker in the front, then it's not my fault that you ordered a frontal, when you should have got a closure, I'm sorry. Like, you ordered this, not me. So, she's like, I'm going to let you know, so I'm like, okay, listen by tomorrow if you don't want to send the remaining balance then you're just gonna forfeit your deposit and that's just it like i don't really know what else to say about that like you're gonna forfeit your deposit and if that's okay with you then that's okay with you so you know i felt a little bad but i'm like I was just more frustrated than anything. I mean, this situation, this has never happened to me, so I didn't know what to expect. 
so she wrote me the next day and she was like well first off she was like oh i'm um you have been accommodating but you don't have to be rude to me and, and say oh if i don't send you the money by tomorrow then i'll forfeit my deposit first of all bitch i wasn't being rude it just is what it is and i'm letting you know because i need to be very clear and transparent so it's no issues i'm telling you what it is like you giving me the run around they're finally telling me that oh you don't know if you're gonna pay me because you don't like it and it's not to what you envisioned i'm willing to try my best to give you what you envisioned but i mean you still have to pay me you want me to change the length on a whole wig at the last minute and make it to a whole new different wig that you didn't ask for to begin with for free like how the fuck does that work like i'm not gonna lose out on money it's not even my fault so i'm talking to my mom about it my mom's like listen you I, my mom saw the picture she's like you know you gave her the length and the look that she wanted and if she don't want to pay then screw it so she was just basically telling me like oh i'm not gonna pay so i was like all right well she was like i'll lose the deposit i don't want to pay more money and not get what i want so I'm like, I understand. So basically, I guess it worked out for me. I got a couple. I learned some lessons from that. Okay. All money ain't good money. I am not working with nobody that is freaking going to be acting like that. I don't know if she was really OCD or not. But I'm not working with nobody that's going to be acting like that. I can't. I'm going to tell them. Send what you want. And after 24 hours, no changes can be made. So you have to, uh, 24 hours to change your mind about the left and color and all this. Once I start the wig, it cannot be changed. Period. Don't send me no extra pictures now. Now, like, I'm not doing it because it just, it was too much. It was just, it was too much. It was too much. So, I mean, it ended up working out for me because I got to keep a deposit. You know, now I'm going to sell the wig. For a little, like, I'm going to sell a wig, make my money, and then I just kept a deposit. Like, honestly, if she wasn't giving me the runaround, I'm still thinking about maybe if I should just sell the wig and give her a deposit back. Even though she was being a bitch to me for no reason. Being a little bit snotty. Like, a lot enough, I'm going to pay. Like, you know, when she could have just been up front, like, listen. Instead of waiting a whole bunch of hours, like, listen, I don't, this is not what I wanted. And I don't want to pay an extra three four hundred dollars for you to make it the length that i want it now so you know i'm just not gonna pay and i could have been posted the wig up but i guess that's just how it goes so do better than me if you're a wig maker and you're not already doing these things like asking even if they don't tell you and don't assume that it's their first time uh, well, it's not their first time wearing a wig. Always ask. Um, and tell them, listen, what you send me is what you're going to get after 20 to, to 48 hours, depending on how many other wigs you have to do before theirs. It's no changes to be made. So you have this amount of time to make changes. If you don't, then that's just the wig you're going to get. Um, I was debating if I wanted to take all the money up front. But I'm like, no, it's really helpful because... You don't have to pay four or five hundred dollars right off the bat the first time. Like I will be nervous too. Somebody from Instagram too that I don't have a website yet. Like you know, giving them five hundred dollars even, and then just hoping that they don't. Cause I've heard of that too. People blocking them. People sending out like four hundred dollars and getting blocked and never getting a wig. So, you know, I'm just gonna continue to take deposits half and half, and I just learn for the next time. So learn from me and and do better learn from me learn from my mistakes learn from what i didn't do and just do better so i guess it's a win-win for me i don't know maybe i'll keep you guys updated if i do this i'll just give her a positive back i guess i might just do it you know sell away give the girl her money back i don't want any like bad karma even though it's her fault and she was like oh well you could keep the deposit i don't care if i lose it i still might give it back so i don't want bad karma but i'm gonna think i'm gonna sleep on it I'll pray about it. Maybe I might, maybe I might not. <laughs> but I have some. I mean, why should I do it? Like, right? I spend my time. I spend my hard time dealing with this weirdo. Putting a wig together. I don't know. I'm gonna, mm, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. But 
like and subscribe so i want you guys to comment down below let me know what you think i should do if i should give her her deposit back even though she was being rude to me or if i should just keep it and sell a wig and keep all the money for myself you know but let me know what you guys think i should do because honestly i'm a little bit conflicted so let me know comment down below give this video a thumbs up subscribe and follow me on my instagram to see my new work so guys this ended up being the wig and how it came out i think it looks cute so just so you guys can see the finished look